Hello everyone, this is Haimavati, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Humanities and Science, MLR Institute of Technology. So, in the last sessions, we have seen the first order first degree differential equations, different methods we solved and applications also we discussed. So, today in this sessions, so we are going to discuss about the higher order linear differential equations with the constant coefficients. See once the, the overview of this today session is, so first we will see the definition of linear differential equation with the constant coefficients. In the next part, we will see how to find the solution of linear differential equation with the constant coefficient and we will see one example or one problem on the finding of the solution of the linear differential equation with the constant coefficients. So, now uh, let us see the definition of linear differential equation with the constant coefficients. So, a differential equation of the form a0 into nth derivative of dy by dx plus a1 into n minus 1 the derivative of dy by dx plus a2 into n minus 2 derivative of dy by dx plus and so on a n into y is equal to x. So, here a naught, a1, a2 and so on, a n all are constants and here capital X is a function of x. So, that this type of the differential equations is known as linear differential equation with the constant coefficients of nth order of nth order of first degree clearly the nth what is the highest derivative in this equation nth derivative so for this nth derivative see the power of this nth derivative is 1 so that the degree is 1 so, clearly this equation is known as linear differential equation with the constant coefficients of nth order of a first degree, right. So, the equation 1 can be written as a0 into capital D power ny plus a1 into d power n minus 1 by plus a2 into d power n minus 2y plus and so on a n into y is equal to capital X. So, where capital D stands for d by dx, right. And in this equation, take the common y. By taking the common y, so what is the expansion was getting here? a naught d power n plus a1 into d power n minus 1 plus a2 into d power n minus 2 plus and so on a n into y is equal to capital X. So, this factor the coefficient of y is nothing but the function of d. So, this equation is the whole terms is d included so that we can write this as the function of d into y is equal to x. Generally, we are writing here f of d into y is equal to capital X. So, if sometimes so, so here the two different equations was exist one is by taking x is equal to 0 another one is x is not equal to 0. Suppose if x is equal to 0. So, this equation 2. So, this is the equation 2. So, equation 2 gets f of d into y is equal to 0 and this equation is known as homogeneous linear differential equation with the constant coefficient. And if x is not equal to 0, suppose if you are taking x is not equal to 0, then the equation 2, that means this is the equation, right? This equation 2 is called non-homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficients, right? So, these are here, the two equations was exist. One is f of d into y is equal to 0, that is nothing but linear differential equation with the constant coefficient and those equations are homogeneous. 
and the next equations or the form is f of d into y is equal to x where x is not equal to 0 and that type of the equations are known as non-homogeneous linear differential equation with the constant coefficients. So, in this session now we will see how to find the solution of homogeneous linear differential equation with the constant coefficients. Right. So, first of all, you have to write the auxiliary equations. So, what is the, the general form of the equation is f of d into y is equal to capital X. And the other form is f of d into y is equal to 0. Right. So, and now first you have to write the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation is nothing but the algebraic equation f of m is equal to 0. So, this is the two different equations are exist for these two differential equations. So, first you have to take the auxiliary equation. So, that auxiliary equation is the algebraic equation of these two equations is f of m is equal to 0. That means simply you have to substitute d is equal to m in f of d. So, m in f of d. So, after substituting d is equal to m uh, and we will get f of m is equal to 0, right. And uh, see once here the method of finding the general solution of the homogeneous linear differential equation with the constant coefficient. So, first you have to uh, write the auxiliary equation. Auxiliary equation is nothing but f of m is equal to 0 uh, by taking d is equal to m in f of t. And next, uh, you have to find the roots of the auxiliary equation. So, this uh, equation, so f of m is equal to 0 is nothing but a naught into m power m plus a1 into m to the power m minus 1 plus and so on, uh, a n is equal to 0 and now this is an uh, algebraic equation. So, for this algebraic equation, uh, we will get the roots. So, then how many roots uh, exist totally? n roots was exist m1 that n roots you have to assume as like m1 m2 and so on mn all right so the then after finding the roots the required general solution is obtained as per the roots stated below so now we will see the different types of the roots then how can we find the general solution of f of d into y is equal to 0 that is nothing but the homogeneous linear differential equation with the constant coefficients. So, now uh, let us see the different types of the roots uh, getting from the auxiliary equations and we have to find the complementary function. So, clearly uh, we can say the complementary function is the general solution of f of d into y is equal to 0. The complementary function is the solution of f of d into y is equal to 0. So, clearly, so what I am saying is here, the general solution of f of d into y is equal to 0 is nothing but the solution of homogeneous linear differential equation. So, for that a differential equation, solution is nothing but finding a complementary function. The complementary function, how can we find? So, first of all, you have to write the auxiliary equation. After writing the auxiliary equations, we will get the uh, roots. So, based on the roots, we are writing a complementary function. So, see the first type. So, what is the roots? We are assuming m1, m2, it is m1, m2 and so on, mn are the different roots, right. So, for this different roots, so we are find, we are writing a complementary function. Suppose, if m1, m2 and so on, mn are real and different roots or real and distinct roots. So, real roots means, so obviously, uh, we know the real numbers, right. So, real numbers are like sometimes it is 1, 2, 3 or negative also we will get, right. So, those are the real roots, 
right so then how can we write the complementary function c1 into e power m1x plus c2 into e power m2x plus c3 into e power m3x plus and so on and this is the way to write the complementary function if the roots are real and different see the example once suppose uh, m1 is equal to 1 and m2 so is equal to minus 2 so these are the two roots i got so 1 and minus 2 are the real and these two are also different so that to write the complementary function for the first two to take the first uh, constant c1 you have to assume c1 e power m1 is nothing but 1 into x plus for the second root you have to take the another constant is c2 uh, c2 into e power m2 is nothing but minus 2 into x so this is the complementary function uh, this is the example for the complementary function to write if the roots are real and different and next to see the uh, next part this is the next case the roots that means the two roots are equal the two roots are means the first two roots are equal the next roots are real and different and that repeated root is also real root then how can we write the complementary function if the roots are repeated twice and the remaining are the different so to write the complementary function is for the repeated roots you have to write c1 plus c2x into e power m1x since here the m1 that means the m1 that root is repeated twice so that you have to take the two constants and include with the x then remaining are real and different so for real and different you have to continue from here onwards c3 e power m3x plus c4 e power m4x plus and so on so for example uh, the roots are suppose if i got the roots are m is equal to 1 comma 1 and 2 so this is the roots i got so here 1 and 1 so see here 1 is repeated twice the another root is we have only 1 and these three are real and different but one root is repeated so first write the complementary function for the repeated root for 1 comma 1 so that then how can we write c1 plus c2 x into e power here 1 is repeated twice so 1 into x the remaining are real and different plus c3 into for the different root you have to take only uh, one uh, constant that is c3 c3 into e power m3x so for repeated roots you have to write the complementary function like this and for the different roots you have to take only one constant and then write the complementary function right so now see the case 3 yeah, see the case 3 is suppose if the roots are repeated three times and the remaining are real and different see the root is repeated three times and the next roots onwards real and different then how can we write the complementary function if the root is repeated twice so for that the complementary function is you have to take the c1 plus c2 x plus c3 x square into e power m1 x plus the next onwards the real and different roots for the different roots you have to take the different uh, constant that is a c4 e power m4 x plus and so on see the example again suppose if i got m is equal to the roots are three times that is that three times i am taking again one 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 uh, and another is the real and different is two right so here one is repeated thrice then to write the complementary function c1 plus c2 x plus c3 x square 
into e power 1 into x the remaining is uh, different and also real and you have to take the another constant c4 into e power 2x. So, if the repeated root that is the 1 is repeated thrice then to write the complementary function is c1 plus c2 x plus c3 x square uh, e power m1 x plus the remaining roots are real and different and c4 e power m4 x plus c5 uh, e power m5 x plus and so on. That is the way to write the complementary function if the root is repeated thrice and remaining or the different roots. And next sometimes the complex roots is also exist. Right. So, those complex roots you have to assume it as alpha plus or minus i beta. So, alpha plus i beta is the one root and the another root is the alpha minus i beta and the remaining roots are starts with from m3 onwards and those are the real and the different. So, if the roots are imaginary and the remaining that means the first two roots are imaginary and the remaining roots are real and different then to write the complementary function is so first you have to write the complementary function for the imaginary root e power uh, alpha x into c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x and the remaining roots are real and different for real and different you have to proceed like a first point that is like c3 e power m3 x plus c4 m power 4x plus and so on. Right. Suppose uh, if I got the roots or sorry, imaginary roots. So, m is equal to 2 plus r minus i. Suppose if I got the 2 plus r minus i is the complex root and the remaining roots are the real and the different. Then how can we write the complementary function for the roots of uh, imaginary and including with the real numbers. So, here uh, this 2 plus r minus i is nothing but in the form of alpha plus r minus i beta. So, here alpha is equal to 2 and beta is equal to 1. Right? Then now write the complementary function for the imaginary root and for that e power alpha is 2 into x into c1 cos beta is 1 that is beta is 1 1 into x is a x plus c2 sin beta x is the formula beta is 1 so that beta into uh, beta is nothing but 1 into x is a x and remaining or the real and the different you have to proceed uh, uh, like as a point 1 that is uh, c3 e power 4x plus and so on. So, this is the way to write the complementary function if the uh, the first root is a complex root and then you have to write the complementary function. The next sometimes the complementary function is also repeated twice. Then how can we write if the complementary if the imaginary root is repeated twice. So, if it is repeated twice that repeated roots are like alpha plus r minus i beta and alpha plus r minus i beta and the remaining roots are the real and different. So, for the repeated roots e power alpha x into c1 plus c2 x into cos beta x plus c3 plus c4 x into sin beta x plus the remaining roots are the real and different we are saying so that the c5 e power m5 x plus uh, c6 e power m c m6 x plus and so on. So, if the, the imaginary roots are repeated twice. So, if it is a repeated twice, so then the complementary function is e power alpha x into c1 plus c2 x into cos beta x plus c3 plus c4 x into sin beta x. So, if the complex root is repeated twice, then this is the way to write the complementary function and remaining roots are real and different 
and you can uh, write c5 e power m5x plus c6 e power m6x plus and so on. So, this is the uh, different ways to write the complementary function for different roots exist. Suppose if the roots are real and different, so c1 e power m1x plus c2 e power m2x plus and so on. If the first uh, the roots are repeated twice, then to write the complementary uh, function is c1 plus c2x into e power m1x uh, plus c3 e power m3x plus and so on. And sometimes the three times also repeated for that you have to write the complementary function is c1 plus c2x into c3x square into e power m1x plus c4 and 4x plus and so on. And sometimes the complex roots is also exist that complex roots we are assuming as alpha plus or minus i beta for that to write the complementary function is e power alpha x into c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x and the remaining are real and different. If it is real and different, you have to write the c3 e power m3 x plus and so on. And sometimes the complex roots also repeated twice. So, and remaining roots are real and different. Uh, for that cases to write the complementary function is e power alpha x into c1 plus c2 x cos beta x plus c3 plus c4x into sin beta x plus the remaining roots are the real and different for real and different you have to write the complementary function as c5 e power m5x plus c6 e power m6x plus and so on. So, this is the way to write the complementary function if we are getting the different roots. Now, let us see one example on the solution of homogeneous linear differential equation with the constant coefficient. So, solve d square y by dx square minus 2 into dy by dx plus 1 is equal to 0. Solve d square y by dx square minus 2 into dy by dx plus 1 is equal to 0. So, clearly this equation is a homogeneous linear differential equation and with the constant coefficients. So, see the coefficients of d square y by dx square coefficient is 1 and dy by dx coefficient is 2. So, these are the constant so that this is a homogeneous linear differential equation with the constant coefficient. And now, first of all, we have to write the auxiliary equations. So, before going to write the auxiliary equation, so you have to uh, write this differential equation into the form of operator capital D. So, what is capital D stands for? D by dis, D by dx. Already we have seen what is capital D is nothing but D by dx. So, in this the given differential equation, you have to substitute in the place of D by dx is a capital D. So, then we will get d square y minus 2 dy plus 1 is equal to 0. And in this take the common y d square minus 2 d plus 1 into y is equal to 0. So, now this equation is of the form f of d into y is equal to 0, clearly this equation is homogeneous, homogeneous linear differential equation with the constant coefficients. So, here what is f of d? f of d is nothing but d square minus 2d plus 1. So, first you have to write the auxiliary equation. So, auxiliary equation is nothing but the algebraic equation of f of m is equal to 0. That means, you have to replace d by m in f of t. 
that will give us m square minus 2m plus 1 is equal to 0. So, this is a quadratic equation then now we will get the roots of this equation. So, this equation can be written as m square this 2m we can write it as m minus m plus 1 is equal to 0. The first, the first two terms take the common m, m minus 1. And the next two terms take the minus 1 is the common. So, by taking the minus 1, so we will get m minus 1 is equal to 0. Again, take the common, uh, it will give m minus 1 into m minus 1 is equal to 0. So, m is equal to, so what are the roots here? m is equal to 1 and again m is equal to 1 so m is equal to 1 comma 1 so 1 comma 1 is the real root and this one is also repeated twice so then now you have to write the general solution the general solution is so the general solution you have to write the y is equal to the complementary function you have to write the complementary function for the repeated root. So, here 1 is repeated so that you have to take the two constant including with the x c1 plus c2 x into e power 1 into x is nothing but e power x. So, that this is the required solution of the linear differential equation with the constant coefficient for homogeneous. So, this is the way to find the general solution of a homogeneous linear differential equation with the constant coefficients, right? This is the one example. So, what is the topic we, dis we have seen in the today's session? So, we have seen the linear differential equation with the constant coefficient. And later we have seen the two different types of the linear differential equations of uh, uh, constant coefficients. The one is uh, f of d into y is equal to 0 and uh, another equation of the type is f of d into y is equal to x and uh, this is the homogeneous and this is the non-homogeneous. So, these are the uh, two different types and for the type 1 is nothing but a homogeneous linear differential equation with the constant coefficient and the solution of a homogeneous uh, linear differential equation with the constant coefficient is and the solution is the complementary function. So, CF is nothing but the complementary function. So, complementary function is the general solution of homogeneous linear differential equation with the constant coefficients and we did uh, one problem on this today's sessions. Uh, in the next session, so we will discuss about the non-homogeneous linear differential equation with the constant coefficients and we will see the different uh, types also exist when we are taking capital X is equal to the different function. So, for that we will see in the next sessions. So, that is all for the today's sessions. Thank you.